Okay, on this lovely sunny morning, windy but sunny, up at Lynnhead now, we're going to have a quick gear run down. So inside the Locust Gear Cuban Kufu, really stable shelter, blowing about a bit, it's going to be gusting though. 45 miles an hour, but I'm fairly sheltered here, but the gusts still come through. What have we got with us? We have uh, an old Montan waterproof, some old Burger House pack light over trousers, the Magic Mont Bell x Light down jacket, an old DC baseball cap, Esbit tabs, uh, C camera care systems case for my Rico Compact, Mammoth pillow, really helps me sleep better with a little pillow like that, only 39 grams. Some windproof gloves and a plain beanie. Uh, first try of the Cata Catabatic gear. Wyndham hood, really warm, I'm almost too warm, that was last night but that was great with the quilt, uh, sunglasses, ditty bag with um, sun lotion, toothbrush stuff, contact lenses, um, bits and pieces, uh, midge net, um, headlamp, a really light sit mat that I found by Dutch Gear, um, opens out into or weighs absolutely nothing 17 grams or something ridiculous so that's really good a couple of water bladders two little water bladders some integral design event shorty gaiters some reed waterproof socks there uh, really hard wearing and they've been good so far, I've worn them quite a few times. Some old school Innovate Flyrock 310s, love those, really comfortable for me. Uh, homemade um, Cozy for uh, rehydrating freeze dried meals. And the pot system I'm using at the moment uh, backpacking light, fire light, 550 pot with a Ruta Lacura Cuban fibre lid and the trail designs uh, titanium caldera cone but the stove is a focus fire by flat cat gear for Esbit and the whole thing works really well and all packs up into that small Cuban stuff sack then carried in uh, an old Gossamer Gear Whisper pack. It's um, done me really well, this pack. Uh, the spinnaker is fairly fragile. I think I've had to repair it once. Um, the capacity is probably a little bit big for what I'm carrying on this, on this trip, but uh, it's um, a comfy pack. Believe it or not, bubble wrap in the shoulder straps but uh, it works surprisingly well it's very comfortable when you're carrying light loads and then the sleeping bag which I'm using for the first time actually on this trip is a uh, half bag by Nunatak the Nunatak RKT it weighs a grand total of 250 grams so it weighs nothing really and um, my legs, just wearing some normal trousers, these are some travel light trousers by Buffalo, my legs weren't chilled at all. I got down to about uh, seven last night uh, in the tent. So that works um, well. I think I could probably push it a little bit lower, but some down trousers that you could wear with it as well, so they could probably get it down to I'm up to zero with the down trousers, but on the top last night I was wearing both 
of my insulation pieces because it's a half bag and there's nothing to keep the sort of top half of you warm so enjoyed trying that last night for the first time it's really windy out there but we're probably gonna head out soon Murphy! Murphy! There's the boy Murphy Murphy sit good boy and then Murphy's little shelter over there great Murphy, keep up, keep up, good boy. <laughs>